as we have defined the cosine and the sine, they're defined in terms of angles. And angles can be measured using degrees or using radians. So you can talk about, for example, with a cosine of 90 degrees. And ordinarily, we won't be able to find cosines and sines in our head, but 90 degrees is a right angle, and bearing in mind that this is the unit circle, this point up here is the point zero comma one. So we can say the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Or we could talk about the cosine of pi radians. Remember that if you have an angle and you don't have a degree symbol, that means you're measuring in radians. And pi radians corresponds to 180 degrees. This is the first ray. This is the second. So here's the point where the ray intersects the unit circle. And the cosine is negative one. So whether you're measuring degree in degrees or measuring in radians doesn't really matter. Now the textbook presents the cosine and the sine a little differently. It presents the cosine and the sine in terms of lengths on the unit circle. And that's not the way this material is usually presented. And I don't really approve of it. But whether I approve of it or not, we can dis and should discuss it. So the textbook will think of V not as an angle, but as a distance. In particular, the textbook will think of the wrapping function. We start here and we travel V units. And the point we travel to will have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. And the X coordinate will be the cosine. And the Y coordinate will be the sine. So how can it be that we have two completely different definitions? Well, they're not completely different in point of fact, because if you remember, as long as we're measuring angles in radians, this arc length and this angle are the same. So whether you think of V as an angle or whether you think of V as an arc length, you get taken to the same point. And the X coordinate is the cosine and the Y coordinate is the sine. 
So the way the textbook defines the cosine and the sine is the same way that we define it, as long as you're measuring angles in radians.